Hey everyone, we're here at the Adobe booth where they're going to show us an entirely new way for you to edit in Premiere. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and B&H. So we're here with Francis, a senior product manager for Premiere at Adobe. Tell us what's new with Premiere right now. Well, hey, thanks for coming by and welcome to the booth. Uh, we've got a lot of really great improvements and we've been hard at work over the last year. First thing is that this is the most reliable and the fastest version of Premiere Pro that we've ever shipped. You know, it's all great to do big flashy features, but what people really need above all else is, a, is to have a rock solid application to edit with and that's what we're providing. We're also really listening to our editing community and our customers, and we're giving them the little things that are gonna make their workflow way better and much more smooth. So these are like little things, like an example of that would be uh, masking tools in Premiere. There used to be a little thing where you would be masking and it would go into this rotate mode, which is super annoying, so we just removed that. A very small change for us to make, but a really big impact for our users. So that's an example of us just like really listening to people. But that doesn't mean that we're slowing down on innovation, and we're really excited to announce text-based editing this year at the show, which is, as you said, an entirely new way to edit inside of Premiere Pro. So the way this works is it's an AI-based transcription. It transcribes the source. We support up to 17 languages. And you can set it to automatically transcribe everything in the background as you bring it in. And then once you have that source transcript, you can search for sound bites. You can highlight words or phrases and then insert them into your sequence. And it uses standard keyboard shortcuts that you probably already know. So comma for insert, period for overwrite. These are the standard keyboard shortcuts for editing in Premiere, and they work inside text-based editing. Once you have your rough cuts sort of starting to take shape on the timeline, you can actually do some timeline editing with the transcript as well. So you can do things like cut, copy, and paste. So you can highlight a block of text, Command X to cut it, move the playhead somewhere else. This is all in the text panel. And then hit Command V for paste, and it's gonna rearrange those clips on your timeline. So, you know, we like to say, so long as you can cut, copy, and paste text, you can now edit video inside Premiere Pro. That's crazy. So, it, in a way, it's even making editing more accessible. It totally is. I mean, we think that it's gonna really speed up the workflow of seasoned professionals. and. We've heard from our beta community who've been testing this out that it's sped up their rough cut workflows by like four to five times or sometimes even a lot more than that. And so for our professionals, they're gonna get a really big boost out of it. But we also think that it's gonna make Premiere Pro more accessible for other people who are not those like seasoned professional editors, you know? You could think of like directors and producers who are used to doing paper cuts. Now you could sit them down at Premiere and they don't have to know the entire framework of Premiere. They just need to know, here's my transcript, let me find the sound bite that I like, highlight it, and hit comma to insert it into the timeline. Very cool. Now I want to ask you about it because you said uh, that, it, that it's happening in the background. Is that like while you're generating peak files, it's also doing the, the hard work in the background? That's right, yeah. It's an AI model that lives on your machine. You don't need an internet connection and it's an option in Premiere that you can set it to automatically transcribe everything that you input, uh, import into Premiere, and it'll cache those transcription data as well, which means that if you bring that file into another Premiere session, it doesn't need to retranscribe again. So let's talk a little bit about AI and how it's being integrated into Premiere. First of all, can you talk a little bit about how the AI is working on this feature specifically? Well, it's been trained by a, a large model of people speaking, and again, we support 17 languages. But I think that the, the more interesting thing to talk about in terms of AI is where we're taking it for the future. And I'm sure you've heard of our, our you know, beta uh, product called Adobe Firefly. Yeah, so Adobe Firefly is a generative AI technology that allows you to just input text and get an image result. And it's sort of a, we consider it to be a playground. We're experimenting, you know? But Adobe is taking the stance of, we want to get the ethics 
nailed down first. And so we're making sure that all the training data is ethically sourced, which means we're not infringing on anyone's intellectual property. All the training data is fair use, which means that it's also good for commercial use. So if you want to generate something out of Firefly and use it in an actual commercial product, you don't have to worry about somebody at some time down the line coming in and trying to say that you infringed on their style or something like that. Yeah, and I guess in a way it's also Adobe's own way of taking care of creators, supporting. Absolutely. I mean, we really care about creators and we're not trying to put anyone out of a job. You know, what we like to say is that our AI solutions are for automating mundane tasks and allowing you to have more time to be creative. Cool. Is there any plans for future integrations? Well, we are exploring all sorts of possibilities for AI, uh, generative AI in video. We don't have anything announced to announce today, but you can imagine things such as you type in uh, how you want the scene to be changed visually. So like, give me a teal orange look, right? It had to be teal orange. Right, of course, right, and it just does it. Or like, give me a winter look, or like, I need snow, so it just renders some snow. Um, you can imagine it for B-roll, you know, like I need a shot of a dog on a bicycle on Mars and it just renders it for you. Um, but people have actually started using Firefly today for doing things like pitch decks, you know, so, uh, or storyboarding, you know, so the sky's the limit and I'm sure over the next few years you're going to see a lot of movement in this area. Well, it sounds like an awesome feature with tons of of uh, ways to expand the way that we edit. It sounds like you're doing a lot for the community, so I'm sure we all appreciate that. So that was Adobe from NAB 2023, dropping in with some more awesome features. We're gonna keep touring the booths. Stick around for some more awesome coverage.